There is a new update for the Xbox One available to members in the Alpha Ring of the Insider Program, and I wanted to make a quick video showcasing the schedule themes and how you guys can set it up when it becomes available uh, for everybody. What is going on, guys? Randall Thor19, the man with the million, back again with another video. And if you missed it a couple hours ago, I posted a video about the leak and rumors and information regarding the Xbox One Elite Controller version 2. Some pretty good info about that uh, leaked out to a Chinese website earlier today. So check out that video when you got the chance. But this one is about scheduled themes on the Xbox One. Uh, a few days ago, Xbox put out a press release saying that there are some new updates coming to the Xbox One. One of them was Next Achievements, which I covered in a previous video. Uh, another thing that was coming was Schedule Themes, which obviously I'm covering right now. And then another feature, which is currently not in this build, is the Do Not Disturb uh option instead of just the appear online and appear offline but i wanted to show off this schedule theme info because i think it is pretty cool and, and show you guys how you can set it up on the xbox one if you're in the alpha ring or when it eventually goes live to everybody so it's pretty simple to do you hit the guide button you scroll all the way over to the right to system go down one to settings it'll start you off an account but all you need to do is press down once to personalizations from there, you go to Theme and Motion. Now, this is where you'll come to the system theme. You have Dark and Light. Remember, they added the Light theme uh, last year in addition to the Dark one. Well, now you can actually choose Scheduled. This So basically, you can turn the Light theme on at a certain point in time, whatever certain point in time that you want, and you can actually turn it off. When you click onto it, you can set it for... Uh, 9 a.m., 9.45 a.m., 10 a.m., whatever time you want to turn it on and turn it off, is it's pretty easy to, to set up. So for the purpose of the video, I actually went ahead and I turned the light theme on at 8.16 and I wanted to turn it off at 8.17. And I started recording because I wanted to see if it actually would turn on at the time I wanted it to and if it would turn off you know, a minute later, basically, just to kind of give it the uh, good old run through. And sure enough, it turned on exactly when I wanted it to, when I had set it, and it turned off right when I wanted it to as well. So this is basically for people that enjoy the light theme during the day, but maybe find a little bit too bright at the end of the night. Uh, it is pretty bright, especially on 4K televisions, and I actually do like the light theme but because it is pretty bright. I usually stick to the dark, so I'm actually currently using the schedule theme. I have the light theme come on at about 10 a.m., and I have it turn off at about 7 p.m., so during that point in time, my guide and all that stuff will be white. It'll be light. And then after 7 p.m., when it starts getting dark around here, I turn it to the dark theme so it doesn't burn my eyes out on my TV. So uh, this is a feature a lot of people have been asking for and is not available, like I said, to the alpha members in the Insider program. And I'm sure it will be available to everybody sooner rather than later. Now, of course, when they set up the next uh, Do Not Disturb info, where you can actually set yourself not to get any notifications from your friends. I'll be sure to make a video for that as well. But for now, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful and helpful, make sure you hit that like button, share this out on Twitter and uh, various social media places so more people can check it out. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, as I do them usually when a new update drops for Xbox. Hit the notification bell so you're always notified when I do make new videos. And I want to thank you guys for checking out the videos and sticking with me. Uh, I really do appreciate it. And I hope I see everybody in the next video. Later, guys.